Hi guys, so in this video I'm gonna talk about video effects and I'm gonna do it the similar way how I did with the transitions so I'm gonna talk about which effects to use and how to use them and I'm also gonna talk about what effects I like to use and um, what I use them for so let's get started and uh, I already prepared a project file with um, some examples in it first of all i don't really use video effects a lot especially not in videos where i use video clips i mostly use my video effects for colorings but i'm not gonna talk about colorings in this video because i wanna make um, another one for that but i'm gonna talk about the effects i uh, mostly use for picture videos and for video videos if you don't have the same um, video effects in your list that I do, uh, please check the description box below for all the information you need to know. So let's get started already. So on the list, what I like to use is uh, the black and white effect. With picture videos, I use this when I have two or more copies of the same picture and I want to make them look kind of different. So with this, I have more zoomed in version of the picture and on top of it, um, a more zoomed out version of it with a cookie cutter rectangle uh, effect. And I would add the 100% uh, black and white to the bottom one. So if I put the coloring on it, I think it looks a lot better with the black and white in the background. Uh, so I'm going to show you how it looks without it. I think it looks better, but you can decide. So this is a very easy way uh, and I use this a lot. And with uh, video clips, a lot of people use black and white for the clips where you want to show that this scene is in the past and the colorful clips are in the present time. But you can also use it to slowly desaturate the uh, clip so from colorful it turns into black and white but um, i'm going to talk about that uh, a little later so next on the list i use most of these right here for colorings so the next one is cookie cutter i <laughs> use this a lot 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 but uh, also i'm not going to talk about uh, this exact effect in this video because i want to make a big video for this because i have a lot to talk about about this and maybe you are not gonna have this effect but as i said please uh, check the info box below one of my favorite effects is the new blue film camera effect and the first one on the list the camera hand cranked i use this effect for a multiply reasons and one of them is when i'm way too lazy to uh, for example move all these four pictures individually but i still want them to move because in my opinion every picture should move all the time in a picture video because it makes the video flow better so when i'm way too lazy to move them um, individually i usually add this effect to uh, all of them so i'm just gonna add it to the other three too all right but as you can see now um, the two lines i had uh, dividing them they are kind of all over the place because of this effect because if you uh, have the film camera effect at the very end so after the cookie cutters it's gonna move the whole um, rectangle of it but if you uh, click on this one and uh, drag it to the left, so before the cookie cutter effect, it's gonna only move the picture inside of the rectangle. So I'm gonna just do this to all of them. And uh, if I'm right, and I hopefully am, then we are gonna get back the dividing line uh, between these four pictures. So one horizontal and one vertical. And yes, they are. Uh, they are back and now if I just load this section in you will see that the uh, pictures uh, only move inside the rectangle and the cookie cutter but as you will see since it uh, moves it inside you will get these black lines uh, on the sides and uh, I usually fix this with just adding a border to the coloring so you will not see those black lines appearing so I'm just gonna play it back and now they are moving and I didn't uh, pan crop all of them so I saved time and with video clips I like to use this effect when the, um, when the song gets kind of crazy so the beats are coming very fast and instead of selecting another clip for every single beat 
in every five frames I just add this effect to one single clip and it's gonna shake and uh, flicker and everything and it's gonna go well with the music so a similar effect to this is the uh, new blue motion effects and the earthquake and I use this let's go back to the previous example so I already have a preset I made and I like to use so I'm just gonna add this to this but you are gonna see the um, settings to this so what this does is uh, for one it's gonna shake the picture but for two it's gonna zoom in for you so it might be a good idea to make everything smaller so if you uh, have the earthquake effect after the cookie cutter it does the same uh, like the previous one so it's gonna move the whole uh, cookie cutter rectangle but if you uh, drag it to the left it's only gonna move the uh, picture inside so sorry I just can I'm just gonna show you how it works the first time so if you want the whole uh, rectangle to move because I think uh, with this it looks cool you need to resize your rectangle so instead just lower it to this and you can also uh, zoom out a little bit because it zoomed in for you and now it uh, shakes the whole uh, rectangle thing if you have the uh, motion effects there are some that will move on their own like the earthquake and the film camera effect which i showed you previously so those are the ripple effect which i think i added to this one I'm not sure you can see this but I use the uh, more noticeable one on this one so you just simply have to drag one of them onto your picture and it's gonna move it on their own without having to do anything the next one is the rolling waves as I said it does the uh, same thing so I just added it to this um, mm, picture and I also added a cookie cutter rectangle on it so it's only gonna uh, add this effect uh, inside this rectangle so I'm gonna show you how this looks so I find it that these effects are really cool with text I'm gonna show you in a minute um, well let's just let's just test it I'm just gonna type in something so if I add this uh, diagonal ripples and let's not make it this freaky so these effects i find that they work really good on um, text not so much on pictures but you can just uh, figure it out and experiment with it and when i was preparing for this um, tutorial i went through the list and realized that i use very little of these effects and there are some amazing ones in it and I should have taken the time and get to know these effects because there are really cool ones that I had no idea that I had so see I think it looks cool so another one is the wiggle effect which I added to this no I yes I edited this one and I um, edit it after the cookie cutter so it will move the whole rectangle again so that looks like this and there are the effects that uh, you can make them move for example with this I edit let's check the motion blur effect right here and uh, with this I'm gonna talk about keyframing because you will need to um, play with keyframing which is the same as when you zoom in on a clip you are adding uh, beginning keys and ending keys so you can have as many keys as you want but um, the basic thing is that um, from keys to keys it's gonna change so let's see this is point A and this is point B and this is point C so uh, if you check the preview window the change is gonna happen between A and B like this so it slowly blurs and from B to C it's gonna blur a lot more so like this so I did this with uh, adding these three key points by uh, clicking on the create keyframe when I had my little I don't know how you call this so if you want to add the key right here you can do this by clicking right there but I'm just gonna delete that so the first key is uh, set to reset to none so 
it's like you didn't add anything to it. The next point right here, you can see how I changed all these uh, effects. So it's gonna make it look like this. And uh, I think to the last one, I made it uh, a lot more noticeable. So if um, I have to remake this, I'm just gonna delete this by that. And I'm gonna add the blur left effect. Yes, this was it. So you can see that it's already a blurred version. So I'm just gonna put it in the place of the B, keep on B. And when I go back to the very beginning, I'm just gonna uh, click on the drop down menu and select reset to none. And when I click on it, it will add a key point um, on its own. If you put the keyframe right here and then you don't add anything else, uh, it's gonna stay in the same exact position because this is one of the effects that won't um, move on their own. So I'm just gonna go to the very end and uh, make the blur more and the blend more as well. You can do this with the shear energy effect, the spin blur effect, and the warp to in the motion uh, effects. And as I said, when I was going through the list, I found some uh, really cool ones. So I think these are called the video essential and there are three or four of them. I'm just gonna show you this text thingy. I added the fisheye uh, effect. And what I did is just have a key point, which is a reset to none. So it's your uh, starting positions and it will gradually turn into the fisheye uh, effect itself. So the middle is coming uh, closer to us. And as I said, I think these effects look cool with text. So if you put this on a face, the face is just gonna get bigger in the middle and that's not very attractive. So again, uh, I just use the key points and uh, after this, if you don't add any key point, it's just gonna stay in this way. But if you wanna uh, go it back to how it were, just uh, click at the very end and then select reset to none. And now it's gonna, first of all, go into the fisheye effect and then go back to normal like that. And uh, one more thing I wanna tell you about uh, effects is how you can use them as transitions. And for that, again, you are gonna need the keyframing, which we already uh, did the uh, last time. So how you can use them as transitions is uh, adding the same effect to the first uh, picture or clip on the second one. So for example, with this, I'm gonna have this transitions. I'm gonna just load it in for you. So it's kind of water uh, ripple effect like this. So I'm just gonna move it as far, but uh, I wanna remember that I have to push it right here. So I'm just adding a marker. So I added the um, new blue motion effect ripple to this and I have two key points. The one is the reset to none uh, point and the other is when it goes into the effect itself. So this, but as you can see, it re looks really <laughs> morbid uh, when you just add it like this. Uh, so I have these settings to the uh, ending point and which you are gonna need to do is pressing down your left mouse, drag it to the left until you can see that the key points are highlighted. So a new diamond uh, shape appears in this one and then right click and select copy. And which, what you need to do is look for the ripple effect and just add whichever you want, it won't matter. So just add it. And now uh, right click on that key and click paste. So now we uh, copied the same uh, key points that we had on the first clip, but it's in the same order. But with the transitions, we need the order to change, but it's very important that the distance between these two uh, keys are the same as the distance uh, in the first picture. So I'm quickly gonna add marker right here and I'm gonna uh, move this, um, how do you call this? I don't know, but you, I'm gonna move this and you will see that it moves on the timeline at the same time. So when I get to this point, I'm gonna add a marker on the timeline right here. So now we are gonna need to change these two uh, 
mm, key points. So I'm gonna drag the uh, key point on the left to the very right. It doesn't matter. And I'm gonna uh, move this to the very left. And now with the reset to none uh, key point, I'm gonna find this marker in uh, here. So I'm just gonna drag it to the left until I get to that point right there. And I'm gonna move this key point there. So now the distance is the, is the same, but the order is um, the opposite. Now what we need to do is drag them onto each other and uh, it should start with the point where you have uh, the reset to none option to both of them. So now I'm just gonna drag it down and uh, so now they move the same so it looks like it, it's a real transition but in reality it's two effects. Alright, and I done the same with this. And I think I used linear blur and I don't know, I just really love it. I think it looks very subtle but it, it looks so beautiful. And uh, I just came up with this when I uh, was preparing for the video and I'm, I think I'm gonna use it a lot because uh, I really like it. So, oh, I use a radial blur. So again, one is to reset to none, the other is uh, when uh, I added the effect itself and with this it's the opposite. So the first is the effect and the second is the um, reset to none version and the uh, yeah. distance between uh, between these two points are the same with each of them and I can even drag them onto each other. I think it will look the same. So these were the things I wanted to mention about video effects but my advice to you would be to go through the list because I haven't before this and uh, I didn't realize how many cool things were there and it's okay if you don't use any effects so just try to experiment with them and I hope you found this tutorial somewhat helpful hopefully I will talk to you soon bye guys